Yeah. What up, though? Be back with another video. Um, this time I'm gonna be showing y'all how to like get the perfect accuracy, like how to improve your aim, your gun skill, basically how to you know maneuver around people, try to get the upper hand. I'm not sure if a lot of people look this kind of stuff up, but I know a majority of people want to. Like they want to improve this some shit and if you don't got a scuff if you don't play claw or if you don't use a keyboard and mouse you really gonna need like the upper hand if you use a regular controller if you're not playing claw like if you're just playing regular you're gonna need these tips okay so the first things first you want to go to a custom game you know up here multiplayer custom games I'm gonna click that you want to click on options pick the map free for all I'm t <laughs> Fucked up big time. Pick the, pick the map firing range. You want you want like a small to medium size map, one where you know it's like you can basically get to the opponents much more quicker than having the map like um you know Arsenal where you got to run across the map just to get to everybody else. You want to pick a small to medium size map. It don't necessarily got to be um, firing range, but you know just pick you know small to medium. Put the time limit and the score limit on unlimited. Cause you want as much practice as you want. You want to get all of this practice. You want to improve your aim. I know it'll feel like it's not doing nothing, but you it's it's doing something for you. Like it's improving you slightly, but you don't realize it until you hop back into multiplayer, hop back in the game, and see how your aim go. And then next after that, you want to put the mini map on sweeping because you don't want it on constant because you gonna always know where everybody at, and that's pretty corny. And you don't really want it on normal because it's not. You're not like practicing like fucking trying to get a nuke or nothing. You practicing your aim, how to get a perfect aim, and you don't want to see where they at every single time. Like you don't want that constant, so keep it on sweeping. Even if they shooting and stuff, you won't really see the people coming. It's going, it's kind of going to help your reaction time too. So sweeping and then that's pretty much it for the um for the rules. And then you want to add about. 10 to 12 bots you don't want too many i think the max is like 17 or something that's way too many to fucking have in a free-for-all anyway that's way too many to for you to like practice your aim and shit because once you kill one you got to quickly turn around and shit and kill that one and you know it's just gonna be a, a fucking shit show so you want those conditions you want to create your class you want to start off with the icr because some people's aims can be some people aim can be fucked up even with grip one and grip two with the icr and the icr with both grips that don't have no recoil so that's how you want to start that off practicing you want to start that off because it got no recoil at all you want to get the hang of it and we about to hop right in the game and i'm gonna fucking show y'all exactly what i'm talking about you always want to choose crash because you're gonna run out of ammo hella quick and you're not gonna really die too much by the by the bot so you know always keep crashing because you got the ammo that you can just throw down at any time and you got the health bonus that you can use any time so i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i mean by this gun has no recoil if you didn't know by now this gun has no recoil at all we about to just ignore the bots for now but anyway you want to aim at anything look how straight that shoot that's why you want to use the icr all 35 of them bullets hit right here in this area it slightly went down a little bit, but the whole point is you want to kind of get the ICR and just practice with it. And what I mean by like practice, some people, they will aim, they, see this dude right here? They will aim and be doing a lot of this stuff. A lot of that, a lot of movement, a lot of it. That's why you want to kind of practice. <clears throat> That's why you want to kind of practice and get the aim down, get the movement, get the pattern right. Boom, you wanna get shit like that now. Nah. And for some reason I don't have a lot of bullets. But yeah, you wanna get that type of pattern now. You know, just kinda get the hang of it. Shoot that shit, like shoot at practice shooting at the wall and shit. Practice how you strafing and shit like that. You wanna just trace out shit like a lot of a lot of times people they, they strafing side to side, you know, they shooting doing this. And you wanna get the hang of that, you wanna get that down. So practice with the ICR, practice on these bots, don't put them on veteran and nothing, leave them on normal or put them on um, recruit and practice Radiation's your aim with this gun. Up. And once you get the hang of this gun, get the hang of um, 
aiming on people right and not and just did. keeping your aim steady you will have that gun you will have this gun down you, you can pretty much use any other gun now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the SOG now because this is the gun with the most recoil if you don't know how to control it like look at this a lot of people you kind of want to get that pattern now you see how I went like to the right a little then it went up to the left and then went back to the right that's kind of like an S pattern or like a yeah like an S or a Z in a way you want to get that down that was me aiming without the recoil without controlling it once again I'm gonna show y'all you know kind of like a S or a 5 or something like that a Z and thing like that you kind of want to get that down get the hang of it and what you want to do you want to go up to these um you want to remember that pattern you remember the pattern right how it went up how it went slightly to the right at first and then it went up to the um to the left and went up to the left so you kind of want to aim at an angle with your controller I'll see how straight that was you kind of want to aim at an angle with your controller because you want to control that recoil just slightly slightly aim i wish i can show y'all on my controller but slightly slightly aim down to the right with your controller to control that recoil it's a little bit difficult at first kill because you know you you kind of got to get the hang of like aiming with your thumb like down sort of down to the right sort of so you know it's kind of difficult at first don't expect it to keep on getting on like the first Enemy try and down. shit just keep on practicing this that's why these bots are here that's why this is here that's why this custom game mode is here it's for your practice and you know Fire for you right to perfect destroyed. things and you know win more gunfights online and get the upper hand on people that's what you want to do typically you gotta figure out all the recoil patterns for the guns you use. You can you can shoot this gun from a distance too once you get the recoil now. One last tip I wanna give y'all. And this is like the most important tip that out of all these. You wanna get down to perfect sensitivity before anything else. Before anything. You wanna get down that perfect sensitivity. Rather it's uh I don't suggest you go past seven seven though. Especially if you don't have a scuff. I don't suggest you go past 7-7 seven, because seven, you want to get the hang of, you know, the lower sensitivities usually help your aim way more. Keep you steady on the target so you're not moving a lot. And the higher sensitivities, a lot of people, you know, they they moving around a lot trying to stick to the target. Like, if I had a 10, it'd be like, well, I'd be trying to, you know, stick on him way too much and it's doing too much. So keep the lower sensitivities. Don't go below a 5 shit maybe even a 4-4 if it's perfect for you don't go below 4-4 typically not even 5-5 and don't go above 7-7 seven, seven. and now that we got that out the way another the most important tip i want to give pretty much other than the sensitivity is centering a lot of people don't really center they and what centering is is like four crosshairs on the controller you want to kind of get that to the middle to the middle of the opponent to the middle of where you think they're gonna be at once you hit this corner you want to have your center and boom right there on that head glitch because you never know a lot of people go to that head glitch and you want to be prepared be ready at all times or when they run up close boom stuff like this if they in that window you want to kind of oh let me get back you want to kind of run boom have your center into that window because a lot of people go to that window you want to all you want to practice this it's kind of hard to get used to you know little stuff like that like boom boom you want to aim at that doorway little stuff like that you want to practice this in custom games free mode a lot of people don't really do this and they get melted in a gunfight because of it say you run it right here say like this guy right here say you chasing him say you say you chasing him boom let me go out here because he went up there say you chasing him you running from say over here say he's sitting up top of there even running in nine times out of ten you are about to run in boom aiming like that what you how you want to do it let me show you me show this guy. how you want to really do it you want to always keep your center in the, in the uh in the middle and then once you run in here boom aim directly up at the stairs and get the perfect shot like get the shot as perfect as you possibly can because you're gonna be at a disadvantage if you're running in if you're running in and then your aim is just like straight like that like it's good to keep the straight aim but you gotta adjust to like these slopes and everything on the map the head glitches the slopes you know all that uh, let me show another example 
like this little um, area right here a lot of the time you're gonna be running like out of there Damn, I can't do nothing these bots won't let me do shit a lot of the times you wanna or you know I can do it from up here I can do it from up here a lot of the times you don't want to like just keep straight away like down looking like this because you know it's pretty it's gonna be people down here yeah but you want to kind of adjust and everything like you don't want to have your aim down and shit looking while you running just because you're looking at the screen getting those out the way don't mean you can fucking like snap onto them too quick because they might have the upper hand with they with they crosshairs looking directly at you so you want to practice your center you want to kind of adjust to the map whatever map you want you want to kind of aim at hey let's just aim at doorways anywhere that people gonna be Neutralized like boom you want to go right there boom boom and this right here you don't want to run to the window and just look at it like that you want to run to the window boom have it right there see like that exactly like that perfect example and then boom like that you know you don't want to no look straight down. and just you know fuck up your chances that's how you can possibly, you know, get the best out of a gunfight that you possibly can. And a lot of, let me teach y'all one more trick before I get up out of here and wrap this video up. When you like hanging around corners and shit, places you know enemies gonna be, you kind of want to peek and juggle on the doorway. Like say someone is, say someone's right there in that doorway, right there. You kind of want to... Juggle this right here. You kind of want to do like this, you know, just juggle it because they can't. While you peeking constantly like that, they can't. They're not gonna get a uh, clear shot on you. Like if say somebody aim at you from right in that doorway and they shoot you, boom, they shooting their gun. What you doing by that is you can qu you can quickly boom just go straight right there, straight like that, and they won't be shooting you no more unless they got FMJ shooting through the wall. But either way, it's boom saving you a life. Just keep on juggling the corner and shit. You want to kind of rotate the controller, the stick, the left stick moving around in a circle or just moving it back and forth, you know, boom, like this. You don't want to just sit there and just aim, like, or just look, look and aim, because that's nine times out of ten, somebody going to come right there, hey, glitch you would come out of there and just melt you with either Maddox or the ICR or the LMG, which a lot of people use. So you don't want to... You do not want to just sit there like this. You kind of want to juggle the corner. See him right there? He was going to aim at me, kill me with that sniper. But since I'm juggling this corner, it, make, it makes a more difficult target to get. You can even fucking crouch with it if you want to. Just as long as you're making a... Um, as long as you are not sitting still on that. And just, you know, getting information at the same time. You got to be quick with it, though. You don't want to... You don't want to peek too far out. You kind of want to peek to where you can see. Those are the tips. All the tips I got to improve your gun skill, improve your aim. You know, just improve, make you a better player. You know, y'all gonna see me doing that, a lot of this stuff in my gameplays. I'm gonna release more of it. I just reached Prestige Master not too long ago. I don't have my scuff yet, you know, sadly. So I have to play with a regular controller, which I'm doing now. That's why I'm not, like, jumping around and aiming and shit, you know, crouch shotting. Doing shit like that. And the crouch shot replaces drop shot, so you know what you want to crouch shot. It's kind of difficult without a scuff or without playing claw or keyboard and mouse, so you kind of drop shot is typically like boom, you know, just dropping down quickly, boom, like that. It'll get you like a lot of the times people aim up high, kind of for your head or torso, you know, chest area. So you kind of want to crouch shot, you know, get the boom, get the upper hand. It'll save your life a lot of the times too, because it replaces a drop shot. You try to drop shot and aim, boom, it's gonna do that. It's gonna fuck you up. It's gonna take you out of your ADS. It's gonna just hit fire for you. And what you also wanna practice is practice your beat now. It's like you see this coming around the corner. You wanna, you wanna shoot him as many times or once. One bullet does the trick. You wanna shoot him one time. You gotta be quick at it. Pra practice your reacting time. It's way important. Shoot him one time, boom, they dead. Cause what that beat down do it bring him down to 50 health. Wanna bring him down to 50 health? Boom, shoot him one time. Boom, shoot him one time. Run up, hit him. You wanna practice that a lot. It is very helpful, especially when you run into those times where boom, you just hit in the corner. You wanna kind of shoot the gun. Boom, practice that a lot. Cause a lot of the times people slide in your face. 
they slide around the corner a lot. So, say like for instance right here, you running in this doorway. Boom, like that, boom. Except I missed the shot. But you get the big picture. You want to do stuff like that. You want to practice that beat now. Get your reaction time right. And you will be, you know, it'll make you a way better player. Trust me. It takes a lot of practice. Don't get frustrated. Don't let it frustrate you a lot. Control the recoil, you know. Do stuff like that. Practice in these custom games. That's what these here for. You do not want to go out until multiplayer practice and getting shit on. So, you know, get as much practice in the custom games as you can. I want to say shoot about like two to three hundred or maybe even four hundred bots practicing all them tips. Practice your center and running around, boom, center and shit. Expired. Practice the recoil on every gun, but always remember, use the ICR first. Because you want to kind of get down your aim and make sure you don't have a shaky shot. Yeah, those are all the tips pretty much that I have for y'all. I'm trying to think of uh, when I'm missing. Cause I know it's something crucial that I'm missing and I don't really want to miss out on that you know I don't no really want to leave you guys without everything that I know without everything that pretty much everybody doing to improve y'all sales a lot of people got fucking dreams of being a pro you know use these tips to improve yourself even if you don't want to be a pro just use these tips but yeah that's pretty much all I got because I can't remember what I want to um I can't remember what Wasted I have tool. to say, like the other tip, or the important tip. So that's pretty much all I gotta Bag say. Um, hope this video helped y'all out a lot. Because I know tips like, it took me a long time playing this Call of Duty and everything like this. To, you know, pretty much get all the, the tips and basics now. Uh, you know, become the advanced tips and stuff like that. Hope this helped a lot of y'all. Hope to see y'all in the next video. Oh yeah, the final and last tip that I finally remembered is you know how I brought up centering and aiming your shot. You know, like getting your centering down. You don't want to like pre-aim the corner, you know, always looking in like that. Cause it can fuck you up in many situations and it fucked me up in many of them. And I'm glad I remember this tip cause it can and will fuck you up if you're sitting there pre-aiming too much. And this happened a lot of the time. Because once you're sitting there pre-aiming, especially on like a head glitch or something where you're up higher, higher than somebody say, you're sitting right here pre-aiming this doorway. Exactly like this, aiming high for the head or the chest. You pre-aiming like that. Say they're coming in from there, right? You aiming up so high, you know, chest, head area. They can come in crouching and you wouldn't be able to see them. They'd be under the gun. Which a lot of times, a lot of the times, it fucks me up so bad. Trust me on that. Don't always pre-aim at something. Do not always do that. And if you do, if you do pre-aim where you know they coming, just make sure you fire them they with it. Like, say somebody's, you know, somebody's coming through that doorway. Without looking at the radar or anything, you know, it's just your instinct. You know they coming in. You want to, you kind of want to look at the doorway and just fire. Fire some shots. Do not just sit there like this, because a lot of the times, a lot of people could come in, they can come in sliding, they can come in, you know, just peeking the corner, you know, juggling that corner how it's taught, the tip that I said, juggling that corner like that, just looking in, it fucked me up a lot of the times, trust me on that, do not keep on pre-aiming that corner, do not keep on pre-aiming, and just looking at these, you know, doorways and shit that people come through just because you know they coming. It can fuck you up. Can and, it can and will fuck you up for sure. Trust me on that. It happened to me a lot of the times. But anyway, that's all the tips. And once again, I'm going to see y'all in the next video if you're rocking with it. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hope these tips help. See y'all in the next video.